CSS is the markup language that we use on the web to describe how a website looks. So just like HTML's only job is to describe the purpose of the content, uh, CSS's only job is to describe how that content looks. So I've gone ahead and made a little HTML document here, and I want to connect a CSS file. So I'm going to start by making a new file. So I'm going to go to File New, and immediately I'm going to save this file. When I'm saving my CSS file, it's often a good convention to put it in a CSS folder to keep everything organized. Inside my folder here, I'll make a new folder named CSS, and that's where my file will say, be saved. Now make sure that you follow our naming conventions here, where CSS is all lowercase. Next up, I'm going to name my CSS file, and you can kind of call it whatever you want, general.css, main, theme, whatever makes sense for you. So I will call mine main.css. There we go. So I now have a CSS file inside of my CSS folder right here, which is in the same location as my index. So they're together in my folder, uh, but the CSS is inside of another folder. Now that I have my file created, I'm going to go back to my HTML. And just like images and other attached resources, we have to tell our HTML document where to find our CSS file. And we do that at the top inside of the head with what's called the link tag. So this isn't to be confused with the A tag, which is providing hyperlinks. The link tag is for attaching other resources to your website, like CSS or uh, feeds, blog feeds and stuff like that. Inside of here, the first thing we need to do is write href equals. So this is the attribute that tells the browser where to find our CSS. Uh, and what we need to do is look at where our HTML file is located right here. And that means we have to go into a CSS folder. And inside there, we will find our main.css. So in our href, we have to type CSS slash to go into that folder. And then we type main.css to get the whole file name. One more attribute we need is the rel attribute. And the rel attribute here is short for relationship. So I mentioned that you can attach a bunch of different CSS files to your website, and or a bunch of different kinds of files to your website, not just CSS with the link tag. So in the relationship, we have to tell our browser what kind of file this is. So for CSS, it is a style sheet like that. So now we've got our CSS file attached, and we're ready to style our website.